Ryan, are you surprised the markets aren't freaking out more this morning? Well, I think the bottom line is, Dagan, I wrote this in my notes this week, that the entire market, I think, is about to melt up like a meme stock. So I think we're all anticipating at some point uh, the Fed's going to taper here. I don't think it's a surprise. Um, you know, we've seen a muted response in the Treasury market, which that may rattle the bond market a little bit. But I just think the bottom line here is, and Mike just said it, I mean, the numbers are just going to come in phenomenal for earnings uh, throughout the rest of the year. And I just look back at all the cash sitting on the sidelines. You have $4.5 trillion just sitting there earning nothing. And we know economic data is going to get better. Where's that money going to go? And I just think that everything eventually here is going to funnel into the stock market, even if we start to see some tapering by the Fed. And I'd also mention here, too, because Mike made a good point, there's a lot of overvalued parts of the market, right? Retail, if you start looking at those stocks, you look at the forward earnings, they're very, very elevated here, like tech stocks as well. And you know, I also looked at this week, do you want to own French stocks or tech stocks? I like to rhyme. And I, you know, if you look at the French market this year, it's actually doing better than the NASDAQ um, because Europe is really starting to pick up here. So I think if you look at the overall market in general, I'd urge if you're putting money to work right now, there's a lot of parts of the market that are a lot cheaper, that have a lot more runway. And Europe is actually on a tear here now, and the dollar is starting to weaken. And that could even continue, especially if we keep printing trillions and trillions of dollars. That's bad news for the dollar, but it's very, very good for international stocks.